Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Tales of the Shire. Um, sorry there's been a little bit of a delay on this last uh, episode. It was um, a Tiny Glade release, which I've been covering a lot. also been working on some Planet Coaster stuff as well. Both of those returning to the channel very soon. But I'm allowed to show you 90 minutes of this gameplay and I'll be damned if I don't use my full 90 minutes because I really want to do our, uh, our little last supper, our little final meal that uh, that we've been working on which i think we can uh, confirm not enough meals in backpacks pantry for the guests okay um so we need to make the food first okay so this is just serving the food that's fine and i think we may have had uh, some mail then to give us a bit of a heads up as to what sort of food we're trying to cook i'm assuming we don't have to uh, water our plants today because it's piddling down uh, we do have mail so let's uh, let's see what we've got uh, in need of a cure. Uh, sorry to ask, but I've got a bit of a sniffle. A cure will be very useful. Delphinium may help. If you're busy, don't worry. It's just a thought. I'm not going to be able to work on that today, Fosco, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, fortunately, the Dwarven Fork line has been discontinued. Quick note. I need to tell you how much I enjoyed our business partnership, and I appreciate the no refunds policy. You can keep the fork. Okay, great. Uh, okay, I graciously accept. Here we go. Um, good morning, Alderbear. I, uh, it's a pleasure to be invited to a meal with you. I'll be there. Not sweet and not sour, and something to savour. The many ways to taste bitter flavour. So Fosco is looking for something bitter. And uh, this is Nora. Love a good story. I crave a good twist. A strong bitter flavour would not go amiss. So it's bitter all round. Uh, let's go and see then. What uh, what ingredients we have to create bitter food? Oops, let's see. Um, I'm sure we've got some good stuff. What we can look in here. Uh, brown. So where does it tell us if it's bitter or not? Uh, maize is sweet, salty. Ah, uh, we have beans. What else do we have? Oh, we have some bitter fish. Ah, so bluefin gudgeon. So common roach. So most probably. A fish dish using gudgeons will be uh, the thing we need. Okay, so let's come in here and cook them. Uh, so cool tastes and bees. We can use maize. That uh, beans were bitter. So sh uh, she's telling us that she likes the idea of that. What else we got? Uh, let's have a look. We don't have anything available there. Oh, Tuckborough pikelets. We haven't got any nuts. Cool taters and beans. Uh, what else we got? Silky porridge. Nobody's fussed on that. Very good fish cakes. It requires a fish. So, I think we can we can make this, and we like as it stands, it isn't bitter. But we put bitter fish into it. So we put a flour into it. We put an onion into it. We put a uh, bluefin gudgeon, which is bitter, and we put a tater into it, and we're going to cook that. Okay. So our flour goes in. We're gonna chop up our onion. Let's have a look, where do we need to get it? It needs to be quite chunky. And there we go. We're aiming for here, look. So crisp and tender. Uh, this needs to be even a little chunkier actually. So let's just do one smack. Well, we can't do one smack, we can do two smacks. Okay, there we go, so our chunkiness is done. Uh, a tater needs to be right in the middle. Okay. And I'm assuming how we cook it matters? Oh no, no, it is what it is. Very good fish cake. Spicy. Uh, store in pantry. So that, the fish didn't seem to affect the meal there. Okay. Oh, no, I don't want to make this. Let's go back. Sorry. Um, crispy fish pie. We don't have any dawn dace. Clits, cool taters. I guess it's cool taters and beans then, I suppose. Let's go. Um, so a two-star maize, two-star beans, one-star brown onion and a brown tater. Okay. Uh, so this needs to be very chunky. That goes in there. Uh, yeah, chunky again. Our brown onion needs to be also a little chunky. There we go. 
But crisp and tender doesn't seem to be something we can uh, we can affect at the moment, at least. Just it just has it there. Now that's a sweet luck. Okay. Well, we have a few meals for them there. Maybe we won't get the spot on, but we have a few meals for them. We can begin. Here we go. Uh, yes, please. Here they are. They've come to visit. Hello, hello. All right. So we're going to have uh, bitter and bitter. Now, that's our guest list, which is fine. We actually tab in to get to it. Here we are. So we have spicy and sweet. Neither of these are bitter, weirdly. Well, uh, there we go. We can rotate it a little to fit it in because it's going to be pretty big. It seems like we're serving sort of family style. Um, but uh, but perhaps not. Is it still tab to put the fields out? Cool taste of some beans. There we go. Um, it looks like we're serving but maybe we are, I don't know. There we go. Well, we'll get it started anyway. We'll see what they think. This is a breakfast, so we have cool taters and beans for breakfast. And fish cakes. Um, let's see what he thinks of this. It's sweet. I mean, happy about it. Yeah, okay. She's not as convinced. Okay, well, this is what it is. And I just sit and watch. <laughs> uh, and she's happy enough. We get a gift from her. And Frosco. Frosco even gives us a gift as well. Uh, it was lovely, Elder Bear. It's lovely to be back here. Old Ruby used to cook us a meal uh, before teaching us our letters. Orlo came along too. But I think he preferred fishing to reading and writing. Please come back here again. Of course. Of course we will. Nothing more than a good meal. Uh, why did you bring that old thing with you, Nora? What is it? Oh, it's just a little something I used to play with. When old Ruby gave us our lessons, Nora couldn't sit still. I was impatient. I wasn't learning fast enough. So to stop her fidgeting, Ruby gave her an old key to fiddle with. A key? Uh, it came from her desk, I think. Do you need for something? Yes, I think I do. We best be off. See you soon, Alder Bear. Thank you for the key. I know exactly where that's going to go. I think after running around the whole of the village looking for... Uh, for our special book, I'm going to have a good old guess that it's been sat here all along. Seems incredibly narratively uh, fun, doesn't it? Here we go. Alderbear's figuring it out. So what's in this locked desk? Ruby's book of rules. Mrs. Carlton was right. It was here all along. I need to get this to Orlo. He'll know what to do with it. Okay, well, let's go and see what Orlo thinks. Orlo. Good to see you. I found the book of rules, Orlo. Look what I found. Now, I bless my bundles. That's quite a book. It was in old Ruby's house. Guess what it's it? The book of rules we've been looking for. Let's take it to Farmer Cotton. It's not much use to him. He can't read. Take it to Nora. She'll know what to do with it. Right. I've got things to do. Okay. Goodbye, Orlo. Uh, let's head off to Nora, then. I don't know why we couldn't just go straight there, but that is what it is. <laughs> she wants us to go this way. Okay. Can we get through? The game continues to be pretty, even in the rain. Let's see where these uh, butterflies wish to send us. We follow them. Oh, and look at this. Hedge mustard. Thank you. If that doesn't sound bitter, I don't know what does. I mean, we can find our own hedge mustard as well. This is... Oh, no, no, maybe we can't. <laughs> oh, we're going the wrong way. Sorry, birdie. Thank you for the heads up. We're heading down here. I got sidetracked by hedge mustard. This is bringing us up to some here as well. Look, there we go. I'll take all the hedge mussels I can get. I'm a big fan of eating food that I found on the side of the road. Let's have a look, Nora. Where are you, my love? I have the book. Uh, he actually can't quite remember where Orla lives. I'm hoping this is the right way. Let's have a look what this signpost tells me. No, nope, I was heading the wrong way after all. Oh, Fosco's got a simple sprout soup for me. Always take a recipe. Thank you so much. That's all I have to give you. That's fine. I appreciate it. And no, that's fine for now. We're in the middle of something, but uh, the, the quest just came to tell me to come here. Do you have something as well? 
Nora, what can I do for you? Well, let me take your gift first from after the meal. What is it? Garden greens. Summer style. Beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. You really deserve it. Well, thank you, Nora. Even though you pulled the right face when I gave you a meal. Uh, can I help you with anything else? Yes, I found that book. Take a look, then. I found the book, Nora. The book of rules. I thought it was lost. It was an old rubies all along. Her writing desk had a lock to draw on your key. Opened it. Nora's key from when she was small. It unlocked the desk, the book of rules that was inside. You're the perfect habit to have these rules, Nora. And now at the perfect old ruby. And how perfect that old ruby gave you the key. I'll start reading right away. Bywater will be a village in no time. You worked hard to find this book, Alderbear. You're lucky to, we're lucky to have you. Oh, I got some chicken and lettuce for, because of that. How fun. Well, this may well be a shorter episode then because that brings us to the end of the, uh, the sort of opening narrative that I'm allowed to show you, I think. So I've had a lot of fun with this one. I definitely will be looking at playing it again. Um, this game will actually come to a second channel of mine, which is called Restful. So you can head over to the link in the description to find that. Geek is Restful plays similar games to this, cozy games with calm commentary. I have a lot of comments uh, on my videos saying that the people like listening to my voice and find it quite sort of soothing and what have you, but in regular geekism stuff I can still find myself getting a little loud and, and, and brash occasionally if something really excites me. Uh, so Restful is all about actively keeping the uh, the tone simple and calm so that people can use it to help ground themselves or even uh, doze off to, which is uh, also very fine by me. So uh, this is the perfect game for that. So we'll be covering it uh, in more detail over there in the, uh, in the release window of early next year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please uh, check out the description for links over to the other channel if you want to see more of this and other similar games. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all to bits. Be good.